So welcome to Challenge the Road. Here's my winter challenge to find the best convertible for under 15K. So this was a tricky one because we had a BMW Z4, the model before this, in the older shape. And I do really like the Z4, but I really like the Audi TT. And what I thought I wanted to do was think, what could I get for under 15K? And I've done a lot of research, a lot of looking at cars. I actually really like the Audi shape, one of the first shapes of the convertible that are five to 6K. But I thought, right, I'm gonna go right near the limit. So for 15K, I had to include any works that need doing to the car just to get it sort of perfect for me. So I ended up with the Z4, the Mark II. I think it looks fantastic. Haven't driven it yet. Looking forward to doing that on the next video for you. But it's just a fantastic design. Now, the TT has a fabric roof. And that made me lean more to the Z4 because I think it looks more like a coupe when the roof's up and when it's down it's a convertible, a bit like what McLaren have done. So I think that gives you a huge amount of value, whereas the fabric roof, I think, not ruins the lines but doesn't look quite as good on the TT. So that was why I leaned to the Z4. The other thing was, could I buy this car and sell it maybe at the end of the summer for the same amount or maybe more? So we're going to see that, and at the end of the summer, we know. And here's the cat. Hey, Pepper. Come here. What do you think? Do you like it? So let's go through this Z4. This is like the Mark II. So 2013. This is a 2014 car. I think it looks stunning. I don't know what you think, but this ribbon effect through the bonnet that goes all the way over the roof onto the the boot line looks great um, I really like it the original car was like a flat bonnet so it didn't have this sort of ribbon effect shape through I really like the black grille this has obviously been sprayed in black um, but I really like that I love the color you know I like blue but I do like this dark blue on this car so the cars I were looking at was either white or blue um, I think the blue with this light interior is really, really nice. So the side profile of the car, you've got quite a lot of badges here. This is an S-Drive 2 litre, which we'll go through later on, but you've got the chrome bits there, the BMW and the M. Maybe there's a few too many badges there, but you've got these lovely lines on the side. That's what I wanted to show you. You've got this one that's going up the car, this one that actually is coming round. So there's a huge amount gone into these doors and the side profile follows up round the, the rear arch. I think it looks great. And the back, I think looks tremendous. I love the way the ribbon effect goes up through here. I really like the rear lights. I like the whole thing. I like the whole design on this. I just think a fantastic value. When I look at it, I think this is, looks like a 50 grand car. Um, wheels, these are normally in silver, but this has been done in like a, a graphite, which actually I really like, really subtle. I love the roll hoops in like an aluminium. I think that looks really good. And everything just looks and feels BMW quality. Going round, you've got twin exit exhausts. That looks really nice as well. I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything you can do on this car to make it better from a styling point of view. I just really like it as it is. Let's head over to the engine, give you some specs on the car. So we've got a two litre twin turbo. Lovely engine bay as well, really like this, super clean, really clean actually, nothing to do here. So these come with 184 horsepower. You're probably thinking, Richard, why did you go for the turbo when you could have a nice six cylinder BMW, maybe the three litre, three and a half litre? The reasoning behind that is that you can chip these for about 300 pounds, 280 horsepower. So you can get another 100 horsepower from this I haven't driven it yet and I want to just assess that, but that's a really easy update. You could probably do the exhaust as well. You've gained loads of power and saved yourself 10 grand or so on the price of the car. So that was the reasoning on that. Now, the BMW engine in the twin turbo, I've, I've never driven. I've only had E46 M3, uh, I think the E90 M3, which had the V8. So I'm interested 
whether it's got much torque or not or how it drives I'm sure it's going to drive really nicely front end of the car when I picked it up I noticed something on the front within about 200 yards and I thought it might be run flat tires because they're notoriously awful riding on these cars so there was some so I think some Bridgestone run flats they had a look and they found that there was a steering arm problem had seized as well so they done that for me as well it's a couple of hundred pounds then I went for Michelin Pilot Sport 5 I think that's the best tire now they've said to me it drives fantastic now it wasn't very good at first to be honest and I'm looking forward to the next video going out and showing you how this drives with the Michelins I've kept the old tyres on the back because they were quite new and different models on rear wheel drive cars doesn't really make any difference really on the grip so but we might go to Michelin again I'm trying to do it at a budget trying to keep under that 15k I think it looks lovely under here I don't know what you guys think but it's a lovely unit all BMW strut brace in there looks really nice the tyres in the Michelin look great on the front. I love the badging on Michelin tyres. And yeah, it's just a really nice place to be. So head over to the interior and we'll go through the roof, the boot and all the nice bits in there. So let's have a look at the boot. Obviously roof down. I haven't actually had a look, but I assume, ah, there's not a lot of room for anything actually I'm just trying to think right let me put the roof let's put the roof up and see how much space we got Come on. right right let's do the golf club test I can't believe that. That's just gone. I thought I'd have to throw the clubs out. Okay. Now, what happens if you close the roof? Right, what I think, I need a smaller golf bag. That's what I think, but I think it would have worked with a smaller bag. So you could get a set of golf clubs in there, but it's gonna have to be smaller than that. But otherwise, actually quite good space in here. Um, I think you could get quite a few bits in here, but for golf, I'm just gonna give it one more try. Say so you get rid of your woods like you do with a golf it's gonna but it's gonna annoy me if this doesn't work say that goes that way and then how far does that let's uh, give up on the golf we go to the interior right so let's hop in now first of all this is a lovely interior. What we'll do in a minute, we'll put the roof down, but just for now, as it is, roof up, feels like a coupe, which is lovely. Now this design is specific to the Z4, so I love these buttons here. And all this feels quality, very good quality. Now, I haven't got the sat nav and stuff here because they do a retrofit with Apple CarPlay and stuff, and I thought what I'd do is I'll put that in because we mainly use Apple CarPlay and that now automatic lights on this roof function now i had to have heated seats i don't know about you but i love heated seats especially if it's a convertible as well switch gear looks good there's a sport suspension comfort suspension as well obviously i went manual now there's a lot less manuals than automatics in these i think there's something like 2000 
manuals and four and a half thousand auto something like that in this model um, but this is the two litre version obviously in the three litre I think there was a lot more were automatic and a lot more people went automatic after sort of the year 2012 but yeah it's a lovely place to be it feels like there's lots of headroom I'm only short I'm only six foot but there feels like quite a bit of room leg room loads clutch feels light pedals feel good I really like this steering wheel I think it's the same steering wheel as off an M3 in the V8 the E90 but it's really nice and everything's just fitted lovely it just feels really airy really nice the bonnet looks long and big at the moment but we'll get into that with the drive but I think this is a really really good spec I was trying to think what more I want from a car as I say it would just be the Apple CarPlay glove boxes good size there some bits here USB connector seats loads of adjustment God, how do you get this back hey Jess help right so there's loads of adjustment on the seat so that's pretty good it goes up down backwards forward the steering wheel yeah we've got height reach so I think I'm going to get perfect driving position here and already I feel like it's a lovely place to be so let's get on let's put the roof down and see how it looks Definitely feels airy in here. Feels really nice actually, really nice. Right, let's jump out and just have a look at it with the roof down. Turn this engine off. So I think it looks absolutely stunning as a car. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm trying to think what I would improve on the outside, not a lot. The inside's fantastic. I think we're gonna go out now, give it a real good review, driving review, which I love. See how that manual gearbox is, see how it all drives with the new tires, and then give you another good update on this BMW Z4. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. I'm off for the drive now in the Z4. I'll see you in the next video. So welcome to Challenge the Road.